I ain't got no pants on and I'm just facing these open windows and I can't see anything outside. So all I can hope is for, you know. Welcome to another episode of Let's Be Fuck. I am Nicole Fody. I'm Megan Tonjes. And we're here to give you all things fuck worthy. That's right. What are you here for this day? Oh. I'll tell you what I'm here for, baby boy. Did you know that camels do this? Let me play one more time for you. Just see. So what the? F- <laughs> what in the horror movie? You know. Let me see if there's any background please, on why they please. do this. I'm gonna explain it to you. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Male camel blows up a portion of his soft palate with air to the point that it protrudes up to a foot out of his mouth as a sign to the ladies that he's up for it. Scientists don't really know how the camels puff up the diverticulum, but some think that while exhaling, the males close off the nostrils, forcing the air into the pharynx and soft palate. And then these huge sacks hang out of their mouths and they begin courtship using their spit to make a low gurgling sound that results in foaming at the mouth i mean this sounds sexy (laughs) you know i really feel like mating now that really got me in the mood nothing makes me more down to fuck than just gurgling and 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 blowing sounds and soft palate diverticulums I wish I never knew that. I think like, you know, some things in nature are just mm. better left unsaid, unseen, <laughs> because uh, yeah, that yeah. was jarring. If there's anything that I'm bringing to what the sweet fuck for you, baby, it's trauma. <laughs> and sometimes I said, I said Nikki really cute things. Like I said, like little octopuses and, and little like goats and like just cute little things, soothing little things. And then I save my horrific things for this show. (laughs) This was saved right next to that goddamn octopusy that I sent you that was trying to play. Wow. And we're all better for it. I think sometimes you just need the balance of life. You know, sometimes you got, you got um, cute little animals being cute. And sometimes you got camels vomiting on dicks, man. I mean, it it just is what it is. I mean, who amongst us has not... (laughs) I mean, my pharynx has been to some places. Yeah, I've done some things. Today, I'm here for something that I've been waiting for, for probably a decade at this point. And it just came out. Oh, I already know. I already know. I know you know. And I'm just going to show everyone the the cover right now. Here it is. Yep. You know they know. Finally (laughs) released an album and if you've been watching the show oh for God. all of the probably how, how seven years yeah. how, when did we start this so long ago i think like season one we were talking about cl's yeah uh, music video and album yeah in 2016 okay <laughs> so here we are in 2021 five years uh-huh. later i guess still I, <laughs> it was centuries okay and here it is just came out it's called alpha and i just wanted to share that with everyone because it's like the ending to a storyline mm-hmm. that commenced so long ago. We should have ended the show at the same time that one of your faves finally released an album. Yeah, well, I'll still be waiting for. Mr. I mean, Nelly Furtado must be releasing something by end of the year if this is happening. Like, I, I just really, you like, know, I, Lisa I should make a whole new episode of about Nelly Furtado because I understand some people just don't want to be in the limelight anymore, but like. Yeah get it i want you to be you know like what about my wants yeah what about i'm entitled to this what if you're just what if you're not like in the limelight but you're like you're in my light yeah you know what if you just release an entire album for me i wonder if you could get a cameo from nelly Furtado. nelly Furtado on cameo oh or what i would I follow her daughter on instagram okay just so so everyone's clear on my my you know, fandom level uh, for another. I believe. I will say that's the one thing. I mean, <laughs> that's the one thing I appreciate about appreciate about you, Nikki. I was gonna say that's one thing that I appreciate, but it's the one. It's, the it's one. just your absolute loyalty to your musical faves. 
Yeah. And I just hope that over all these years that in the absence of their albums or their physical presence, that I have been able to fill a little bit of that hole that, you know, Lisa Loeb and Nelly Furtado and CL left behind. I do love getting my holes filled. And I'm here to procure those holes being jam-packed. Okay, so today I want to talk about another hiker. Now, you may have seen this in the news. It's it's very popular the past two days. I've seen the headline multiple locations. Um, the last episode I talked about a hiker, it was the Turkish man who joined his own search party. And he was like, oh, who are you looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's, oh me. that's me. Well, this time, <sighs> Mamma Mia, and if I know this would be me, I just, I know it would. I feel like you're really, um, you're like vision boarding you getting lost in a hike. Oh yeah, and, <laughs> and you know I love hiking too, so it's bound to happen. Um, lost hiker ignored rescues, rescuers calls because they assumed the unknown number was spam. And if that is not me, but also probably all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, just so glad that they were still getting service, I guess, to be getting Mm -hmm. phone calls. I mean, clearly not lost enough because I would be picking that up. And as someone would be trying to like hack my life or tell me that like the FBI is going to arrest me as soon as I'd be like, listen, let's not get into it. I need you to call 911 for me. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I need you. Let me get out. I of- just need to let you know where I am. This is the location. Uh, can you read it back to me? Thank you so much. Um, you know, I, I, what I will say is that as someone who numbers pop up and I don't know them, um, this would be me. I yeah. think this would, I, it would be like robocalls coming through and I would just be like, I'd rather die out in this desert. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to, I don't want to do it. I avoid my phone like the plague. And even mm-hmm. if I were hiking, I feel like I, I it would just, I, I just know it. You know what I mean? But they do have a bit of advice for mm-hmm. people like us, um, you know, on our long, uh, day-long journeys oh, yeah. uh, on the hiking Is, trails. Okay. Is this the thing that I saw a lot of people, maybe not, but I saw someone give, I'll tell you after, never mind. Okay. So they said, um, If you're overdue according to your itinerary and you start getting repeated calls from an unknown number, please answer the phone. It may be a search and rescue team trying to confirm you're safe. (laughs) Oh, so this person just like went on a little venture and someone that was supposed to keep track of them was like, uh, it's been an hour, dude. 24, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I love it. No accountability to to anyone else. I'm here. I'm here for it. A lone traveler, baby. Do you ever fantasize about just like disappearing? (laughs) Or do I really need to see it there? <laughs> I mean, did you not just watch me drive 3,000 miles across the country <laughs> in the other direction? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Dude, the and idea of just stopping. Right now? Uh, I, I, only the other day did I realize, like, oh, I guess I should probably start telling people where I'm going so that if something <laughs> happens, because I truly had just been going and not sharing my location or how long I'll be gone with it. Oh, I never do. For a very long time. And, um... You know, uh, let me, let me, let me not do that as much. If you start getting links for me randomly, if I Airbnb is just know that's where I am. <laughs> if anything happens, just trace it back this far. Yeah. Um, just show, you know, show up with a full party. Yeah, please, oh, please. That's the only way you'd find me. It'd be you and Ken walking into the woods yelling, we brought beer. <laughs> <laughs> we have edibles for you and you just hear like the rustling of the leaves <laughs> like <laughs> I come out after like days of eating sticks and and catching grub yeah yeah mm-hmm. um this is me though uh <laughs> I'm lost and this is where I ended up dude if you go missing and like I'm talking to like the emergency rescue team yeah I'm gonna be like, look, I know it's gonna sound weird. You gotta look for someone with a cape. Purple cape, yeah. Uh Some kind of jewel tone situation. Ornate. Mm -hmm. Ornate, yeah. I need, when you're looking, I know you're looking for a person, but I need you to open your eyes for a deity. Yeah, a seafood green 
<laughs> yeah, and experience a merman that has arisen from the foam. Yeah. I, I need you to imagine that you, you found the Khaleesi, you know? And yeah. like, just go with that vibe because when you find Nikki, he's gonna have seashells in his hair. There's gonna be some kind of ornate crown situation made out of like sea foam and like sea urchin. And um, and if Ken's with him, Ken's already created an entire life and is like filtering water and like making decadent five-star meals. Yeah, 100%. Actually, it might be nice to get lost with the two of you. That actually might be kind of great. I <laughs> would also we... know how to build a house probably, so. Absolutely, this is me. <laughs> this is me talking directly to camera so annoyed that anyone's checking in on me yeah please leave me the fuck alone please i just want to be left alone dude and this there's... is the lonest i could get sometimes if i'm truly if i'm in the middle of anything if i'm like listening to a podcast or i'm like doing something on my phone and someone calls me, I get so rationally like annoyed. I'm like, and now I can't answer the call just because you 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 got me in a bad mood. You know, you you know what I'm gonna say. It's the undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's the, all of these are ADHD flags. You're just uh, you're making it rain. Damn. damn. And I feel it. I really I do. I'm like, I almost like to the phone, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, well, how dare you not know? that I happen to be scrolling down in this way at this time. Like what? And and this is why the do not disturb function is great. Although now with these focus settings on the iPhone, they like tell people that you're like, you got your notifications turned off. And I'm like, well, I don't want them to know that I don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, just want to disappear. <laughs> I just want to disappear. <laughs> is that so hard? <laughs> Why can't I just disappear? Don't tell my business. You know what? I just <laughs> had something occurred to me. When when you're like little and mm -hmm. people ask, or not even little, present day, I'm sure someone has asked you this at some point, but like what superpower would you want to have? <laughs> I would always say invisibility. And I'm like, <laughs> not, what, what are the What's implications? The, what is oh, it? Yeah. Mine were always like, well, it was either one of two things. One, I would love to be able to teleport somewhere. Oh, oh, yeah. I want to be able to That's like instantly one. go somewhere when I want to yeah. without having to travel mm -hmm. through. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, which no one ever wants, and I, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment, is to read people's minds. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a lot of static. Yeah, I would only use it for, I mean, for good for me. Yeah. But I would be winning a lot of lotteries. I would be like, I mean, oh. I would be like on the edge of getting taken into a back room somewhere in Vegas. Like I would be, I'd be pushing it to the limit. And I would watch that TV show. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the TV show I would like to create. I would mm -hmm. like to be the main character and just a show where I can read people's minds and yeah. all the other shit that comes with it when people, you know, it's like uh, the emotional, whatever the it's too intense. No, 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 no. I'd be compartmentalizing it and only using it for my own game. <laughs> yeah. Did you see, speaking of intense, uh, brand new cherry flavor on Netflix? No. No, I actually, it sounds familiar. Like maybe I added it to my list, but. Yeah, um, anyone who likes Intense, uh, go ahead and, and give that a watch. Okay, that's all I need is a recommendation, baby. Yeah. I'm into it. I would also like to fly, just as a side note, that's all. Flying would be cool, but I just feel like uh, like a seagull or something would fly right into me and I bruise easily. So then you gotta come up with like a whole mm. suit and stuff. I gotta like protect myself with armor and who wants that? I bruise easily, great Natasha Bedingfield song. <laughs> <laughs> is natasha uh bringing an album this year or what because you're you're you know, putting out all the faves i wouldn't mind you know who need to get together I never mind these bb's we want to give a oh, 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 oh to jeremy shaw jeremy shaw shake redemption this joan joan of arcadia joan of my heart and shannon lemon and shannon la 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 lemon we also want to give a quick little thank you so much to Heather Snitchberry Lloydies. Heather Sh. Jennifer Best. Jennifer, be best. Be better than best. Cat Water Flame. Cat uh, Pure Michigan Water Flame. MJ Dolorico. 
MJ, my sweetest, little fattest, little tart, Dola Rico. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XL XS. And Stephanie. Yes. We also want to say thank you to all the babies in the stream, the babies you don't see who are those babies if you join us in the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Do that at patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. That's right. That sounded like you saying absolutely nothing because my internet got weird. And so it just was like, I love So I would like to also echo that. I do have an important question. Is your cabin internet better than your your home internet? They're pretty close. No, they're pretty close and not great. (laughs) Just because you look, you're very crisp. Yeah, Yeah, no, that's just a a lot of lighting. Okay, good. (laughs) It's just overhead lighting in a bigger space, for sure. If you want to see us in various states of of lightedness, you can watch more videos on this channel, and you can call me places that tell me to wait. You can find me Megan Tonjes. Come over and say hi. Also, I'm like, you know. I hate, I hate when like you do like a physical activity and your shirt is like brushing on your nips and then yeah. they, they get burnt. Listen, hate a shape, a shape. Hate a, hate a shape. Hate, I gotta, I gotta carry around these little baby bowling balls just like fighting against gravity and fabric. It's just not fair. <laughs> Why do you look like the Virgin Mary? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why do you look like a... I don't know what you... You look like a character on Star Trek. Like They just dropped off uh, at a planet, and you are a new form of something, babe. <laughs> you know, like that planet? Today. Like that planet on Star Trek where they go, and it's just all about fucking... It's all about pleasure, and it's like... I feel like everyone's kind of got Ooh, like a... Yeah. Like a just very, like, chest, belly out, like, sleek sort of... Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a, a deep crimson uh, fabric. Mm-hmm. I can see that. I mean, I, I, I see it more than I want to, and I see it. <laughs>